Good morning. Um, I put up another video this morning, which was the first of my interviews that I was one of my goals for this 100 days to push people that I really believe in. Someone interview people who I think you guys should be seeing, or you know, some international people who maybe I don't even know can take notice of on YouTube. I just think it's a great opportunity. So I did this video on Tanya Doko and. She is an Australian singer and she sang Shaping My Universe, which is the words, go and have a look at the video. It's, I've just done it and I've called it, watch this, um, Shaping My Universe. Okay, so some of you say to me, so do you ever have a bad day? Well, you know what? Yesterday, I had a really bad day. Um, before that interview, which is hence why I looked like that yesterday and had no time. I had every plan of coming home and washing my hair and looking reasonable to interview gorgeous Tanya, who looked beautiful. Um, in the morning, I went off and had like a my yearly little mammogram and checkup. And so while I was in there, so they do that and I'm sitting in there and then they go, I'll just sit there and uh, we'll come back in a minute. So they come back and they say, oh, we've just got to do some more tests. And so then I come back, they come back again and they go, well, now we've got to do an ultrasound. So I'm telling you, my heart rate went up a thousand beats and I was, I was trying to think about all sorts of things. I was, you know, I was thinking, God, it's my birthday on the weekend and will I still have all my friends over if something's happening? Like, and I was thinking, I really don't feel like anything's wrong. What's happening? You know, and then I was saying to myself, I'm strong and I can deal with anything. Like, I can't tell you I had millions of thoughts going through my head. Anyway, uh, the radiographer came back in and she said, it's okay, you don't have anything to worry about. But when she said that, then I immediately got a shock and burst into tears because I have had four friends die this year, all under 45, and um, it was kind of a relief and I got a shock. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, so that was that part of the morning. So, you know, that is very emotionally draining and, and a lot was going through my mind. And yeah, it was hard, it was hard. And, uh, and I was thinking about the secret, I was thinking about my thoughts and I was thinking, I don't know, I was thinking a million things. Anyway, so I came home and my niece has just got engaged and um, she came round and she's had a new sparkly engagement ring and and uh, my sister and her had been shopping for the wedding dress and I gave her a lovely gift for the wedding day and uh, for her engagement and, and we were having a really nice time and then my sister got the phone call that her father-in-law had died in an operation and we all loved Fred. Fred Hurd was his name and he was the most awesome, lovely, gentle, gorgeous man who was so proud of his family. And he's got a son and three daughters and loads of grandchildren now. And we were all so sad. Like, uh, anyway, so when, when it was announced to them, you know, like my sister was just leaving my house and the phone rang. And to see someone you care about have that gut-wrenching sadness was so sad. I don't think that I will ever forget that moment. So, um, ah. It was, it was a big day. And I loved Fred too. He was awesome. Um, he, was, he was a lovely man. So we've all had this uh, full-on day yesterday. So you ask if I have bad days. Well, yes, I do. But, you know, you have to get on with it. And, you know, the best story of all this is I was talking to my niece and, and Fred was actually operated on yesterday and that's what happened. He had a complication and... Before he went into the operation, he said to his wife, Marg, he said, you know what, Marg, you just have to take things as they come. And they were his words. What fantastic last words. I hope I say something incredibly profound when I'm 100 and have my last words. Um, so he's left as a vital, you know, we think of him as being vital and fun and gorgeous and we've got lovely memories of him. So my thoughts are really with the family and it's a big time, isn't it, to lose a parent. So, um, so that was sad. Anyway, um, so I thought I'd share that with you because, you know, not every day is a happy day. I'm generally up and I am generally happy, but you have stuff that shocks you and throws you around. It's true. Um, and you realise, you know, we are all going to die. And we are, you know, that's, that's the way it is. Um, okay, 
So it's my birthday on the weekend. I'm cheering myself up now. I'm smiling. I'm getting my positive thoughts back. Now, I made a video the other day. For those of you who have not seen it, it was called Help Celebrate My Birthday With Me, I think. And it was just a couple of days ago. Now, I know that I am being very self-indulgent asking this, but I can't imagine being able to organize anything I would enjoy more than to get you to just write me a message or make me a video response for my birthday. So when I wake up on December the 8th, which will be December 7th for you because we're a day ahead, um, I would really love to wake up and see messages from you all. So I've seen there's a couple, I haven't looked because I'm not opening it until the day, but I've seen, you know, on my emails that say, you know, someone sent you a video. So I've seen there's two videos and Sally sent me a present. Oh my God, it's under my Christmas tree. I can't wait to open it. I'm so excited about that. Anyway, I would really love, love, love you to leave me a little message. So it's only three days. So I'm reminding you, three more days. So will you please make me little video messages? I would really, really like that. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.